Hello, kids, queens, nerds, and geeks. Uh, I'm Mark here, and we're back with Ben W. Now, guys, uh, this guy has been posting a lot more videos lately, and uh, I'm going to show them to you. And um, I'm not joking, he actually makes a direct message to Satanists in his most recent one, which was made two hours ago. This guy's been posting videos like completely different, and some of them don't seem to be his own. And uh, two of them I see that are actually in his voice. That is one. I'm going to play those ones because those are the ones that he has. So, also, guys, if you notice, I'm not using face cam today this time. Um, mostly because I don't have the time to mess with the camera today. And second, it's like two in the morning, and my and wife is right behind me sleeping. So, excuse me. I've been drinking a lot of soda. But anyway, this one's called YouTube is not your friend. Now guys, remember I told you if you read the comments in my last video, he had blocked me from his channel. Which, I don't know why. But I hope this guy can meet here can debate, like face to face. Um, I would like to do that. Maybe over... Hey, maybe one day we'll have a chat over, I don't know, Skype or Discord, something like that. But I would I would love to talk to this guy. I want to know what what makes him think that I have to believe his views. Well, anyway, YouTube is not your friend. Let's start with that one. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm just making this video to let you guys know that YouTube is not your friend. YouTube never was, really. YouTube is censoring and demonetizing videos that promote true Christian values. Um, that's a bold claim because YouTube tends to censor or demonetize videos that have completely nothing to do with it. In fact, uh, they, you do remember that YouTube is run by leftists and don't and try to silence anyone they see as a rightist. So I don't see why you you would assume just Christianity. Like they can literally do whatever the hell they want. Besides they've been demonetizing people for random things as well. Yeah. Ultimately, what Jesus, Yeshua, would have been teaching people is something that YouTube, well, YouTube's guidelines does not agree with. So, if you are making good material, expect it to be suppressed, expect it to be demonetized, etc. Uh, just... Do your best to share the word of God physically. Now, what I and the, um, here it is. He's just going to continue. So far, right now, he's continuing to talk about God more. And what I don't understand is why is he? What the hell is he filming? What, where is his camera? And the question is, how come he doesn't show his face? Like I show my face, but I know I'm not doing it right now. But I normally show my face. This is what I don't get. What are you doing with the camera? I know this is filming on your phone because you're filming vertically. So why? As well as via the internet. Be weary of false teachings because YouTube is promoting all types of false teachings right now, so... Where is your evidence that they're teaching people false things? YouTube doesn't do that. They don't make videos for you to watch. You make the videos to watch. We make the videos. YouTube isn't doing that. So they're not teaching anything. They're just here to make sure the platform is running correctly. That's what they're there for. We make the videos, not them. Although I'm not, gonna say, I'm not saying none of the people there make videos. I'm just saying YouTube itself doesn't make the videos. Keep that in mind, we're getting close to the end times. End Stay times strong in your prayer life as well. You will need it.
God bless you guys. Oh wait, stop, 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 stop. Now, the end of what? That was my question. This guy says something about an end. Let's read his- oh yeah, by the way, I know I said he blocked me, but I can only see comments I've posted. I tried sending him a video, a link to my videos that I talked about him in, because I do believe he does deserve to see those things, and I figured he would. But he blocked me anyway. So anyway. To be a true Christian out there, I am aware or not only Christian content is being suppressed, but is the fact that satanic content remains unaffected it seems odd to me. Hmm, what do you think? Satanic material is thriving right now. Go, look, it doesn't have to take long. Anyways, hope you guys find a Yeshua instead. Jesus paid the price for us. Everyone should respect that and understand what that means. Okay, everyone. Not everyone's going to agree with you. Like, why does that... Why do you assume everyone? Like, what makes you think your religion is right? Who thinks states that your religion is right? Because... I'm not saying being atheist is right, though. Like, there's no right answer to, to what's started the universe or anything like that. There's no, no right answer. Because we don't know the answers yet. Eventually, we will find the answers. There's no doubt about that. We will find those answers eventually. And... The fact that you believe that this is fact doesn't make it true. But here's this. YouTube is not censoring your Christian views. You probably said something or have done something to strike that. You're not even qualified to be monetized, so what are you talking about? So, like, I'm not qualified to be monetized. I'm the one not. You would have to have over a thousand subscribers and over 400,000 hours of watch time to even get monetized. So what are you talking about? Okay, so, so I'm, I don't, uh, apparently this guy, so I'm just reading his comments, something like, Amen, oh so are you trolls or do you believe in the flat earth? Yes, the government has coined the globe earth to ultimately fake an alien vision. A lobe of people will say that it's crazy, but let me tell you right away they haven't done the, their research. I used to be very skeptical of flat earth until a friend of mine, very educated, Aeronautical engineer showed me some tests that he would run the results. We are flatter than a pancake. Oh my god. This guy's a flat earther, and it's, it's very hilarious. So let's go back to his channel. And now we're gonna go... I don't, also, I don't know if he actually uses this art, if it's actually his to claim. So I'm not gonna say anything. It just makes me skeptical that a guy like this gets someone to do art for him. Oh, I don't even know if he did the art, so I'm not going to say anything. So, make sure for those who perform spells. Now, guys, uh, he mumbles a lot in this video, which makes me hard to understand him, so I had to stop partial the way because I wanted to do this video for you guys. So, I'll finish it off here. So, hold on. Also, he doesn't really have anything filmed in it, so I'm just going to... Yes, I did dislike the video. Yeah, I did. But I have a right to. So we're just going to stay here. So I'm going to show more of this. He says, sorry half of the video was cut off from at the beginning. But hey, if you're a Satanist, you know what your actions may end up, deed end someone's life. Please stop. What are you talking about? Okay, so first off, what is my act actions may be to end someone's life? All I do is just live the life the way I want to. So, anyway. Oh yeah, you can tell he filmed it vertically. But obviously in the dark, because it's black for some reason. Anyway, let's uh, start this video from the beginning. Play it. Since this video has literally nothing in it. All of a sudden, on his cartoon, came a commercial. This commercial showed a little boy standing above a pentagram, and the pentagram opened up and a demon came out. The demon was a furry animal, and it was all cute and cuddly. That is how they get you. What? 
Well, I mean, I'm not I'm not. So, question, my friend. Um, where is this video you so call it it's sin? Exist. What is this video? If you're willing to show clips of it, that would be helpful. You're all filming this on your phone, though, so you're not really showing anything. So, so what is the... What are you talking about? Decades have gone by where this subliminal messaging has been brought upon you. And if you are a saint... You do mostly know that most of the time subliminal messages are mostly as a joke. Like for the longest time Disney had put the word sex in those movies for a long time. And there was that one guy who picked Drew a dildo in the cover, cover of The Little Mermaid. So... Subliminal messages are mostly jokes. I haven't seen an instance where a subliminal message was used in a bad way, so... If someone could provide... If any of you know, know any bad versions of subliminal messages that people use, please show me. Or, like, like send me links to videos or something like that. Oh, or articles. Something along those lines. I'd be happy to see actual footage of subliminal messaging. That... Anyway, that is. You were brainwashed. How am I brainwashed? How am I brainwashed? Please tell me. How, what, who's brainwashing me? Is it the devil? Because I don't believe in the devil. Hiding the light of your soul in a jar. You were hiding it under a blanket. You were hiding your light. You do not walk in the truth. You walk in darkness. Right now, you're more walking in darkness right now since your camera's filming in the fucking dark. Battle, you just have your phone facing down and you're just speaking into the mic. So, um. Please. What are you talking about? Light and dark. Truth or darkness. What the hell is. That's not the same thing. Like, that's not around even close to each other. Like, darkness does not mean the opposite of truth, so... What are you talking about? You wish spells to hurt people. You wish many things. Again, magic does not fucking exist. Once again, you keep using the word spells for whatever reason, because magic... Like, magic does not exist. For people to become hurt. Agitated. I want you guys to know I used to be friends with some Satanists who never. Which were very contradicting with the type of fucking luck bullshit you've been pulling. It's very contradicting since you're a Christian. Christians don't really like Satanists te technically, and you seem to assume that all Satanists fucking worship the devil. I don't worship the fucking devil. I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything. I've been living, I believe living the life the way I fucking want to. That's what my version of Satanism is. That's, but really, sorry guys, I'm just pausing. They told me they were Satanists. I had to figure it out for myself. Because you know what? They wanted me to kill myself. Ultimately, they scored that objective with another person. Someone in my high school killed themselves, and one of these guys bragged about being the catalyst to his death. That is Where's your evidence of this? Where is your evidence? Like, I don't understand. Why you don't want to give evidence? Why does it with anybody who makes these false claims don't show any fucking real evidence? I just, just keep going. Let's just keep going. There's a Satanist for you. Someone who wishes the pain on someone else. Someone to end their life to be a Satan. Satanism does not apply that. God damn. In my last video, I even stated that Satanists don't wish pain upon others unless they give, give pain to them. That was in literally in my last video. And yet, and I know you saw it because you were there in the comments and then you deleted your comment. 
My wife screenshot it, so you can't deny that. Like, I, you can even pull up in my notifications on my... Notifications. Like, hold on. I can pull up in my notifications. It's still there. Watch. Just hold on. Uh, right here. See? He actually did comment in the video. And he deleted it. I actually enjoy this, by the way. I said I don't know anything about the animal situation. I didn't know she was a dog here, but oh well, oh well. well. No, I couldn't comment back to him. I wanted to, but he never he deleted his comment. So, yeah. Anyway, so here we go. And it's just basically, if you kill yourself, it is a sacrifice to Satan. What makes you assume that? Second of all, I just noticed that you're playing uh, Hallelujah, and seriously, you're really gonna ruin Shrek for me with this, okay? Lord have mercy on those poor souls. I know that suicide to Christians seems to be the ultimate sin, but people commit suicide for different reasons. Yes, I'm not probably not going to deny that there are some people out there who have killed themselves for the quote-unquote devil or whatever, but um, um, but people commit suicide because they're some most of the time they feel like they're uh, low on is they need to escape from something. You do realize that, right? It makes literally no sense to what you're like. Satanists don't drive people to commit suicide. I, that's something I do know, that we don't strive to commit, want people to commit suicide. Like, that literally makes, what, what, what would we gain from that? What would Satanists gain from that? Satanists, if you are listening in, I am listening. I don't want to offend you. Yet you make this video claiming that you know the answers. I don't want to insult you. And here you are. But oh my gosh, I hope you see what you walk in. My grandfather has done satanic incantations to make his band successful. And that's what it did. He became very successful. But you want to know how he lives today? <sighs> oh my god. This... Okay, what makes you think anyone is going to believe that claim you just made about your uncle, right? Uncle or your grandfather? I don't... I just don't already forgot. <sighs> Everything you touch breaks. Everything he holds crumbles to dust. Would that make him the exact opposite of King Midas? The guy who told to turn everything to turn everything he touched to gold? I hope he finds God. I hope he finds his salvation. Ultimately, what I'm trying to tell you is I have known many Satanists. I doubt you have. I have seen the. What? what? You're awake? Well, we got some cheese sticks here. I guess my wife is awake, guys. Here's some cheese sticks. Wait, I forgot you're lactose intolerant. What am I doing? Um, I love you too. Anyway, um, this guy is making a real big claim on Satanists. I'm not joking. He claims he knows Satanists. Oh, you don't. You don't know each and every individual person in this world. No, he doesn't say he knows all Satanists, he says he knows some Satanists. This video is just him mumbling about God and Satan and stop and to stop Satanism. This is mainly what the video is about. Product of Satan worship. It will lead you to a deep, dark despair, a hell you do not know or understand yet. I have seen things that a movie couldn't show you. Uh, again, I need fucking proof to sit claim that. My lord is great. 
my Holy Spirit is not just mine. It is a gift from God. I'm not going to go on religion right now. Because I, I can't even say if God is good or not. Because sometimes I... Here's this. I may not believe in Satan, but if he did exist, I'd sympathize with him more because... Think about it. Just think about it. Like, he just didn't agree with God. He didn't agree with him at all. And that was the big... And that was it. Because God... He didn't want to follow God's rules. God punished him for it. He just wanted to be free. And that's what Satan wanted. If you actually read between the lines. you got to look on all sides of an argument of things. Even if they're spiritual. For all of those who love him. And I'm telling you now, you can walk in darkness all you want. But eventually, the veil will be torn. And who said darkness has to be a bad thing? Second of all, second of all, like, here's this. There's actually a theory on the video game Destiny, for example, saying that you, that you are there to stop darkness. That's a common goal in most video games is to stop darkness. But what if it turns out that darkness isn't actually the bad guy? There's a theory stating that you are actually the bad guy, and that's in the game of Destiny. That when you're trying to that would make see uh, there was this clip saying that this person was feeling doubt for whatever he was doing so and you could see what so Disney doesn't have a story and it leaves it vague on purpose I think I believe it's vague on purpose of who's good and who's bad so darkness doesn't necessarily mean bad it's just what we symbolize as bad yeah and you will be exposed, naked. Exposed to what? Afraid, shivering, in the cold rain, alone, forever. Or you will be in hell. That's where the devil is, in his home. Okay, um... Okay, it's quite obvious we all know the quote-unquote devil is his home, is hell. It's not really his home because it's actually his prison. Prison is not considered home, you dummy. Hell, and if you worship the devil, you will go home with him. You know that literally you sound like a fucking ten-year-old, right? You literally sound like a ten-year-old to me. The way you're talking just sounds like a, like you you're just trying too hard to talk spiritual. That's what it sounds like to me, and again, I don't worship the devil. I may be a Satanist, but I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in God. So know the side you choose. Know which side you. Okay, okay, okay. So you're saying that there's sides. Religion, there is really no sides because nobody is fucking right and nobody's fuck. And we, we don't know who's right, we don't know who's wrong. Um, so, what, what is it? Why is there a side? Why does there have to be a side? Reside on. Understand who is the deceiver and who is the person who walks in the truth. Here's this. What I see when it comes to being deceived is someone claiming they have the answers. Have all the answers to life. That's what I call a deceiver. What I see see someone who speaks truth, I see someone who seeks out the right answers. Who actually goes out to seek out the right answers and not revolve around a single ideal. Me, I I actually went through different I try to go through different religions in my life. I've read different things, and I try even Buddhism for, for a while, which I learned some very good, good methods to keep myself calm. 
I learned a bit of morality from Christianity. Uh, yes, I have. I will admit that. Hell, I still celebrate some of the same holidays from Christianity, such as Christmas. But I, was, I decided to live, and then I became an atheist. Well, agnostic, more frankly, because I didn't, because I wasn't sure what I wanted, because I was still searching. And then I found Satanism, which made me an atheistic Satanist, meaning I don't believe in any form of deity, some supreme being of some sort, or a spiritual thing. I don't believe him. I really don't. But I choose to live by a Satanist lifestyle based on, what was it called again? Hold on, I gotta look it up again. It was called, uh, hold on, did I spell it right? Ah, I spelled it wrong. No wonder. Uh, there it is. It's, uh, the Levian Satanism, that's what it's called. Or the Church of Satan website, or the Church of Satan. That's, that's what my thing, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Uh, so, I... That's what I decided to go with. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that's probably what I'm going to stick with for the rest of my life. I probably will, might change my mind in the future. I don't know. I don't predict the future. But, it, but I will be wary about other religions. If I agree with their ideals. I never agree, I don't, most of the time I don't agree with Christianity ideals. Mostly because of the people that are, are involved around Christianity, like you, for example. You're trying to force a religion onto people that don't want it. And also I don't like the type of people who have, who go to church and assume that you have to go to church or you're going to hell. The, that's not what church is for. Church is for sinners, not saints, and nobody seems to understand that. If you are already, if you are already all about God, and you already feel like you, you haven't sinned or whatever, you don't need to go to fucking church. My dad never went, goes to church for the very same reason, and my dad's Christian. My dad doesn't go to church, but he's Christian. He doesn't need to. And here's this, you don't even need a church to ask for forgiveness, or even pray to God. It's not, a church is just a building, and that's all it is. You don't need a church. I don't know, honestly, yes, I'm rambling, I kind of realize, like that, realize that now. But anyway, we need to continue. God is great. God is good. All the prophecies that have been fulfilled in the Bible, it's all coming to a point right now. The end time is coming. The RFID chip is being pushed. It is. Wait, what? RFID chip? What are you fucking talking about? I gotta look this up. RFID chip. Hold on, I gotta look this up. RFID chip. Let's see what the fuck this guy's talking about. Uh, the biochemical microchip implants that utilize RFID technology are being remotely implanted into humans at the reported experiment of RFID implants. Okay, this is a Wikipedia thing. Conducted by British professor of cybernetics, who is the RFID chip implanted in his arm to deliver prep. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, hold on here. Has labeled the card to exchange data of readers and radio frequency signals and has built an antenna, blah blah blah. Now, okay, I'm, I'm guessing you're assuming the RFID chip has something to do with your life, but it's just an implant. That's all it is. It's a microchip. Microchips don't really have that much effect on human bodies. So, I keep clicking the wrong video. So, So, I mean, it's an implant. There's nothing really saying that there's any repercussions of it. It's just a conspiracy theory. 
what it probably just another one of conspiracy theories, assuming that it has something to do with your life. And there's no end coming. As far as I know, there is none. Not for another five fucking thousand years. Sorry, not five thousand years. More like five billion years. And within a million years of that, at our Earth will be a million years or one billion years around that time. Our Earth, Earth system, will, our Earth core will cool, which will cause the, that's what's going to cause the end of the world. Once our Earth system cools, Earth's core cools, we're going to be incinerated by the sun because our atmosphere is dissipated. So what end is coming? Do you think the rapture is? Because every year they talk about the goddamn rapture and it never fucking happens. It's going to become mandatory among cities and nations that you, you get the mark of the beast. And wait. if you don't see that now, then... Wait, 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 what the fuck are you talking about? Mark of the beast? Why do you think it's going to be mandatory that everyone has the mark of the beast? And what is the mark of the beast? Is it the pentagram that everyone seems to assume that involves Satan? Here's a fun fact, man. A pentagram was actually invented by Christians. It was invented by Christians. You know what it was actually for? It was supposed to represent the set of the knightly virtues. Hold on. Uh, hold on here. It was a pentagram, right? Pentagram. Seven knightly virtues. Hold on, I'll show you. Pentagram. Pentagram. Yes, I see the word Satan there, but there's, there's also something else about it. Hold on. Seven. Night. Lee. Virtues. It's not common, it's not popping up because it's not the most common thing. Because there's the seven nightly virtues, which is the exact opposite. The shield of Sir Gwynn. Uh, See, this is where the pentagram originally started. The sheer shield of Sir The pentagram started here because it he because the pentagram represents the seven nightly virtues. I know it's five sides, but usually with a pentagram, you usually choose five points on a sh on the shield to represent your one of the seven nightly virtues. His obviously were generosity, curiosity, uh, uh, courtesy, chastity, chivalry, and pit pity. Uh, I think that's that's what it says. Uh, but that's what his set means. See my see my point here. So I and as for the six six six, everyone seems to assume that's the number of Satan or whatever. But I don't really believe that. You probably never will. And I am sorry for you. But if you are listening in, and if you are not a Satanist. If, if you are not aware of the RFID chip situation, then I think it's because it is ex escalating. The okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stop you right there. Here's this. If you want people to find out about the RFID chip, it's up to you to fucking inform us, isn't it? That's why they came here. They don't come here to do more re... They come here to look at a video because you're supposed to provide their inf evidence and research. That's the point. Of a video like this. Pretty fast right now. In the near future, you will need to have an implant. And you, you will not be it's able not to buy or sell anything. This will be fulfilled. Mark God's words. Heed them. Read the Bible. Change your mind if you're a Satan. Can I ask what the RFID chip has to do with the fucking Bible? What does that have to do with it? And second, what it, if the, depending on what this RFID chip was for, I'd probably be all for it. Like, if it was supposed to monitor my health, I'd be all for that. Me being in the army, I'm probably going to have a lot of damage to my body. Like... I'm already feeling that now. I'm always in pain because my back, because I'm always wearing out my back. It's constant ruck marching, constant foot marches, constant PT, always working. And I'm a cook, which makes that worse because I'm always on my feet all day picking up heavy amounts of food. So I would love to have something monitor my health. 
If that's what an RID, each RFID, whatever the hell it's pronounced. Wait, is he assuming something is monitoring our health? No, he, he says something about an RFID chip implant. He's talking about something, and I think he he doesn't state what he believes Wait, about no, the RFID chip. What does he chip. believe that it does? That's what I was trying to say. He doesn't state what he believes, but I'm thinking he's assuming that it's going to do something to our bodies or something. Or something to do with the end of the world. That's what he's assuming. I, that's what I think he's assuming. And it doesn't... He doesn't state anything. I was about to say, if there's a chip that can help you regular, regulate your health and your life, like, why is that necessarily a bad thing? I honestly, depending on what this chip does, I might be all for it. Like, uh, I might need to do some bit of research uh, on this. I wouldn't want a chip to, like, track me, though. Uh, eventually, it's going to be a case, because... I know, because... Soon it'll be the future ID and stuff like that, but I highly doubt it's going to be placed in order to kill you. Which is kind of stupid. Like, honestly, I wouldn't... Here's this. I don't mind a chip that would track you. It would keep track of the citizens, you know? Like, depend, like say, a criminal... I guess a crime could go down a lot. Yeah, it would, because any fugitive would be found, like, like that. Just like that. Guys like me in the military, if we were, like, captured in war, and nobody knows about our chips inside of, inside, under the skin, and uh, we were captured by the enemy, and they don't know about the chip, they can track us and find the base. Simple like that. There's an, exa there's an example right there. Right there. Um, anyway, let's continue on. Open your heart, or you will pay the consequences. Because trust me, in this life, what goes around, comes around, and you don't want Wait, what goes around, comes around? You're really using that argument? That, that, that's an entirely different thing altogether. What you're speaking about is karma. Karma is an entirely different religion. Why does he assume that we're all going to be punished just because we don't have the same... Because in the Bible, in the New Testament, G, G, and I said this before, Jesus say, says that he believes that people who don't believe are the worst of all. Okay, but he keeps using this as like a threat for people to come and be on his side. That's not how you get people on your side. And that's also not how you get your message across. Do you really think people are going to take you serious this way? No, they're not. The thing is, he wants people on Christianity's side. and But the thing is, he's not going to do that because religion... If he religion... keeps turning people away by saying that they're all going to go to hell and God's going to, like, punish them for no matter what they do. Man. This is weird. I'm making this a second video on the same guy because... This is... These nuts, I swear. Oh, sorry. That was mean. That was mean. But it's just ludicrous what you're saying. Like, none of this makes any sense, and you have no proof to your claims. So, well, here you, uh, anyway, let's continue. Yeah, hey. You don't want to be left there. I hope you find God. I hope you find the light. Because the light exists. Okay, okay, here's something, here's something I'm going to credit you for. You said, I hope you find God. I hope you, you, you realize he exists. That's something... I would be more expected of See, a Christian person. See, why can't person. you threaten people like that? No, no. Or like, why can't you say that to people instead, instead of threatening them? Well, he's not really threatening them. He's more like... What's the word? Uh, he's more like showing... Uh, he's saying what his religion believes... He's basically stating what his religion believes to people who won't believe. That's basically what he's saying. And here's this. That's what you should be saying. You should, the, your point of Christianity is to spread the word of God, and that's it. You're not supposed to force the religion. Like, here's this. There was this Indian way back in the day who was captured by a bunch of Catholics. And the Catholic was, um, was explaining to the Indian that if you believe in God, God, then you will go to heaven. And if you don't, you'll be going to hell. And then the Here's this. He says, uh, the Indian says to the Catholics, do all Catholics go to heaven? And he says, yes. 
And then the Indian said, I'd rather go to hell. This says to me that he would rather or go to hell than be around people who would try to force their religion upon him. That or, uh, it was, that's what, that's what I'm interpreting from it. Here's this. If I have to spend an eternity in hell, oh well, I don't give a fuck. I was wrong. But then, uh, but here's this. I don't believe in it. And I don't think I ever will. Until I see some actual evidence of whether there's a God. And here's this. If there is a God, I don't really think that he would be mad at people for not believing he exists. Think about it. Like, does that make any sense? Anyway, just continue on this. I've been silent too long. I pray God, I pray to God, for all of you guys' salvation. Everyone listening to this message, I am praying for your salvation. Everyone affected by this message, I am sorry if it offended anybody. That is not what I made this for. This is the truth, and you know it, and I know it. Okay, 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 okay. Stop you right there again. You say that you don't want to offend anybody. But then you make all these false claims towards a Satanist. Wait, well, and what was the lines you said again on that last part? You know it, and I know it. Everyone knows it deep down. You said something about speaking the truth around it? Sorry, I, uh, you said something around speaking the truth? You believe it's true. I've said it before. Truth is perspective. Every, I could be speaking... Speaking truth, but it may not be plausible. I can believe that the flying spaghetti monster exists. I'd be speaking the, the truth. The only time when something is true is when there's actual evidence behind it. There's a difference between truth and fact. Yeah. Truth is one thing. Like, you believe it's truth. Truth is, like, um, is based on what you perceive as truth. Like, I can see one person may not believe in the flying spaghetti monster. He doesn't believe that's true. And when he says, as, as the spy, flying spaghetti monster doesn't exist, he's, and he's put on a lighter detector test, and he's, and he's telling them, and they're telling, see that he's telling the truth. But then the same thing happens when someone says, I believe even this flying spaghetti monster, and he says it exists, that means he'll also be speaking the truth. It's not necessarily fact that the flying spaghetti monster exists. Like, let's see, I have red hair, that's true. But if someone who's colorblind doesn't see that, i.e. my wife, she can see, but she can actually see my hair is red, but for example, she saw my hair is blue. She would say my hair is blue. She believed it to be true. It's the same concept. I don't believe in God. And when I, if I were to say God doesn't exist, I would believe that to be true. Or you can think of it as in, take a piece of paper. On one side, the piece of paper is black. On the other side, it's red. One person on the other side says it's black because that's what they see. And then the other person who's holding the paper says it's no, it's red. That's basically what you're meaning. Yes, around those lines, yes. It matters perspective. Oh, I like how I've been talking about two different videos that were not even that long, for about 44 minutes. Whether you believe it or not, the truth will remain. Have a good day. Good night. And fucking good night. Goodbye.